High Voltage Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi. And you know, if you watch our videos, the first thing I say is, well, we sell diesel trucks and we sell lots of them. Well, I can probably expand on that a little bit by telling you we try to sell trucks that you can't run down the street and find. We try to sell a little different kind of truck, a nice truck. It's got to be a bargain. Today, we're going to list the truck, and by the way, I'm speaking up because we're letting it run so you can see how nice it is, how quiet it runs, and see that it's not spewing oil or doing any of that. But it, you can't find one of these trucks, I promise you. It's a 2005 Ford F-350 Larry. One ton, 2005 Ford F-350, one ton Lariat, four wheel drive, turbo diesel, heavily equipped. Got it all, both power on both sides, electric seats and all that, we'll show it to you. Good looking stand up truck, sitting on a really, and I can't say new, they may have two or three thousand miles on them, but a perfect set of matching tires, new wheels, the spares underneath it, this is just a nice truck. And for those of you who have a farm or a lawn service, pull a big boat or whatever, for whatever reason you need a one-ton truck, this is it, folks. It's going to be a bargain. It's got everything you need. It's ready to go to work. Or it's good looking enough to drive a church on Sunday morning. This is a pretty truck. See it standing here? It's not chipped up and dinged up. Headlights are perfect. Drill's not peeling. You can see right here it's a Soto truck. No rust issues. And we have to say that because so many of our customers come from East Coast and Midwest where rust is a big issue. But it's a 2005. It's going to be a great bargain, but I want you to look how clean and neat it is. It's got the Alaria seats in it, still the leather's good. The steering wheel is good. The wood grain trim's good, the dash is not chipped up and all that, and the headliner is exceptional. It's just a nice truck. You look at jam, see this truck. Hadn't been out mud bogging, it's clean. Now, some kid had not been able to try to tear up the truck. Southern truck, cab corners are perfect, bottom of the doors, all that's good. Sliding rear window. Uh, Got the tray underneath the seats. And the reason I can say that, folks, some kid had been able out trying to tear up the daddy's truck because I had sons and got grandsons, so I know all about that. That's not a slur about the kids. Look at the lines on the truck. Look at the bed line on it. Straight as narrow. No one's been jerking things around in it. Here's your spare underneath it, which is virtually unheard of to find on a one ton truck. An FX4 four-wheel drive. The color is beautiful. It's got the spray in the bed liner and a turnover ball. That's a line X bed liner. This bed liner. You look down the side and see that it's not chipped and all that. The tires are good. Look up under here. It's a pretty truck. It's been really weak. Rebadge, it got these six seven style emblems, but they say six zero blacked out everywhere. We very rarely, I, I, I get my, I get phone calls all the time, people wanting a one ton four wheel drive dually, and I tell them we rarely have them for two reasons. Number one, is it's been kept in the garage and baby, and they want something so ignorant for it we couldn't sell it or be. It's just ragged out. It's rare for us to find a truck like this. And if everyone has a need, a one-ton turbo diesel four-wheel drive, I mean, they're really popular. Look at the dash, son. It's not cracked and chipped. Got the, the books in it. Uh, registration. Registration, all that stuff. Dash it and peeling. Got a new windshield in it. Clean as a pin up in here. Good truck. One little pin right here may not show up. Nothing to it, but just a little pin there. Anyway, you know, if you need one of these trucks, if you've been to the Ford dealership, 
and you've got sticker shock, which you will if you go price one of these, you'll really appreciate the value that this truck's going to be. It's a 2005 Ford F350 one-ton Larry, power stroke diesel, four-wheel drive, sitting on a perfect like new set of tires, the spares underneath it, a Line X bed liner. It's just a great truck. It's going to be a great part. We appreciate you watching our video. We thank you so much for that. We look forward to visiting with you about this 2005 one-ton duty, Lariat package, and seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi folks, Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck, and I'm going to take you on a test drive. But before I do, I want to show you a few things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under hood. This is just how it came in. So maybe a little dusty, a little dirty, but it's not covered in mud. Obviously, had not spent much time, if any, out in the mud because when you splash mud on a hot engine, all these bare aluminum pieces get a brown patina that you just can't get rid of, and this one doesn't have that. What it does have is a brand new alternator that we put on. Uh, someone put Motorcraft batteries in it, and that alone should tell you how well it's been maintained that somebody spent the money uh, a Motorcraft battery is about 300 bucks worth versus $50 each at Walmart. So these are the, the best batteries you can get. Um, main thing I want to show you though is take the oil cap off and you can see just a tiny wisp of smoke. Smoke's not a big deal as long as it's not puffing. The main thing is you can see set the cap down, doesn't blow off. That means there's no blow by. Blow by is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase. Not necessarily the sign of a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have. Uh, what it does have is all the little stuff that usually gets broke still on it, like this wire loom holder, the little uh, plate and all is nice, all that's good. So anyway, now I'm gonna hop in and take it for a spin. Okay folks, now we're in the truck. I'm gonna take you on a test drive. Before I do, just wanna show you a few things. You can see it's got a uh, six disc CD changer, automatic climate with exterior temp. It has the uh, electronic shift on the four wheel drive so you can shift it in and out with the knob, tow command, uh, extra power outlets. Um, it does have the, the automatic headlights and uh, all that. Let's see, here's the mirror working, other side too, and they're heated mirrors. Automatic dimming rear view mirror, got the overhead console with your sunglasses holder. Um, got the steering wheel controls for the radio, the climate, the uh, cruise, and all that good stuff. Now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work, I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson so even though the video may come out a little shaky rest assured this truck has a great ride and drive it's, uh, for a four wheel drive dually it rides great I'm going to try and dodge these giant potholes here uh, one thing you can take away from all these potholes I'm hitting this truck is tight there's no thunks or clunks or uh, squeaks and rattles the front end's tight uh, not a lot of play in it. This truck fires right up, hot or cold, doesn't run rough cold. And you know, whether you buy from us or whomever, you always want to hear a Power Stroke diesel run cold. Because if it's got injector problems, FICOM problems, any, any kind of fuel related problems, that's when it's going to act up cold. It may run perfect warm, then you get home the next day and crank it up. And, runs like a three-legged dog till it warms up again well this one runs fine hot or cold so uh, no issues there you can see even the steering wheels in great shape it's not uh, ripped or torn up dash isn't peeling or cracked see the little sensor for the automatic headlights I did put a new windshield in it so you don't have to worry about uh, cracks or, or pecks or anything um, if you want to drive in uh, 
and driving home or flying the Jackson, Mississippi International Airport, however you want to get here, I would not hesitate to drive it anywhere. Uh, I don't know of any reason you couldn't drive this thing to California if you wanted to, uh, other than it being EGR deleted. They don't seem to like that much over there. But you can always just uh, weld a stock cooler shut and accomplish the same thing. And, and that's what you want to make sure you do to any 6.0 because that's the weak point. That's what gives them a bad reputation. The EGR cooler goes to leaking and then it lets water into the cylinders and water doesn't compress. So eventually it gets so bad that you stretch the factory head bolts blow the head gasket. And then people say, oh, 6.0s are junk. Well, no, they're not. Uh, first of all, you got to delete the EGR cooler. <laughs> Second thing, you got to keep it serviced. You got to change the oil every 5,000 miles. You got to change the fuel filters every other oil change. And you got to use four filters because they will not release the patent on their filter designs to other companies. So you get an aftermarket filter, even a good one like a Wix, and you're not really filtering uh, because it's not an exact fit like the factory ones are. So you got to use four filters and you got to keep them serviced. People went from 7.3s where they just threw a cord in it every few thousand miles and called it good to 6.0 where you actually have to do maintenance on it. And then they said, oh, 6.0s are junk. Well, no, you're lazy. Uh, you need to keep the oil changed. And of course, you need to delete the EGR cooler. But once you do those things, these are great engines. Uh, we've had them with three, four, five hundred thousand miles on a regular basis. And, you know, that's just the key. Keep them serviced. This one, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, this one has had the turbo rebuilt. Because one other, not really common issue, but if you get a truck that's not run hard every now and then, they have variable vane turbos. So you get boost from the low end all the way to the top end of the RPMs. Well, if you just kind of put it around you don't and don't exercise those veins, eventually they get stuck. And that's a semi-common problem on them, but uh, rebuilding them is easy. I mean, you can buy a whole turbo off eBay for or 500 bucks. So uh, these are actually the same turbos on a Duramax. So they're easy to find, easy to swap out. Uh, it's been done on this one, so uh, you don't have any any worries about having to fool with that. Basically, all the little things that uh, can act up on a 6.0, they've pretty much all been gone through on this truck. Um, I don't know of anything else it needs. Um, goes down the road just like it should. Cranks right up, hot or cold. Like I said, we'll be glad to pick you up at the uh, Jackson, Mississippi International Airport. If you want to fly in and drive it home, we'll bring you back to our office, do all the paperwork and feedback and everything, let you hit the road. Um, one thing I like about this truck, it's got 410 limited slip gears, so it will actually pull. I, I see dualies with 373s, and it's like, what's the point? You, you're not set up to pull. But this truck does have the, the five-speed automatic, so it's not tacking stupid numbers on the uh, interstate. You can see right now, I'm doing 70 and only 2,100 RPM, so um, it goes down the road just like it should. If you're like most of our customers, you're from the mid -east, Midwest or the Northeast, and you're looking at our trucks because we got great prices on rust-free vehicles. So uh, we also understand that most of you may not have time to spend several days driving or flying down and then driving home, or may not want to with all this Corona BS going around. So if that's the case with you, don't let the idea of shipping it scare you off. That's why we do these videos so you can see them going down the road and, and know that they will go down the road and uh, don't let the prices you find online scare you off because most of these guys online they're not actual shippers they're just brokers and they charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit but what it really is is their broker's fee 
for finding somebody else to actually haul it. And they all get on this one website that costs two or three grand a year to be on called Central Dispatch that's not open to the public. And that's where they go to find the actual shippers. Well, we paid the money. We're on Central Dispatch. So as a free service to our customers or a $50 service to anyone else, we will uh, arrange shipping for you. So basically, you'll get wholesale rates because we don't charge a markup or a fee or anything. Free service to our customers. So uh, if you're interested, shoot me a text, 601-376-9869, and I will get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. So basically the way it works is you do a, uh, you pay me for the truck, either with the bank wire or FedEx a cashier's check, and then I will immediately post it for shipping and send you the title and the paperwork and stuff. And when I find somebody to ship it, I'll let you know and we will get on the way to you when they drop it off you just pay them for the shipping so uh, all you do is pay me for the truck you don't pay me for shipping so anyway it's a smooth simple deal we do it all the time if you have any questions just give me a call but text me at 601-376-9869 with your zip code and i'll get you a good ballpark figure on shipping and that's the number to reach me at. If you have any questions, you want to make an offer, want to know what it takes to buy it, want to know about 6 O's, deletes, any of that stuff, uh, that's my number. If I don't answer, hang up and text me because I don't always answer early in the morning or late in the evening, but I'll generally answer a text basically any time. So, uh, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I want to make an offer let me know any of that now one thing before i go i want to show you the dash again you can see no warning lights no service lights none of that i like to show the dash after i've been driving a little while because you know it's easy to hook your scan tool up and kill an engine light or a service light and then take a picture and say oh look no lights but if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it then as soon as you go to driving, that light's going to come right back on. So that's why I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit. So uh, anyway, beyond that, we appreciate you watching the video. Listen to everything we've had to say about this truck. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.